This video introduces the popular Node.js browser automation library, Puppeteer, focusing on the product package and how to install it. Let's start, but make sure to hit the like button in case you enjoyed, and subscribe to not miss new content. Well, Puppeteer is a project from the Google Chrome team which enables us to control a Chrome, or any other Chrome DevTools protocol-based browser, and execute common actions, much like in a real browser, but programmatically through a decent API. Put simply, it's a super useful and easy tool for automating testing and scraping web pages over a headless mode or headful either. Alright. To actually begin with, we'll have to install one of Puppeteer's packages. Basically there are two types of packages, the library and the product itself. We're going to explain them right away. Well, the library package is a lightweight package, called Puppeteer Core, which is a library that interacts with any browser that's based on DevTools protocol without actually installing Chromium. It comes in handy mainly when we don't need a downloaded version of Chromium, for instance, bundling this library within a project that interacts with a browser remotely. On the other hand, the main package called Puppeteer, and this is in fact a full product for browser automation on top of Puppeteer Core. Once this package is installed, the most recent version of Chromium is placed inside node modules, what guarantees that the downloaded version is compatible with the host operating system. Okay. Here we go. Let's install for example the product package. So after running npm install puppeteer, we'll see that the package obviously appears inside the node modules. As we already said, the package is built on top of the core library, and also downloads the most recent Chromium version according to the operating system. Now, we create a new JavaScript file and simply import the product module. As a side note, most of the time we'll probably use this module, unless we build another library on top of Puppeteer, plan to use in an environment that Chromium's binary already exists, or need a binary of different browser. Anyway, the last thing that left for us to do, is to start using this awesome project. Don't forget to hit the like button in case you enjoy, and to subscribe to my channel.